You see, there are people that carry about old, old testimony. Forty years ago, I was saved. Tell me what's happening now. Forty years ago, I remember and my heart was poured. I couldn't think of those vile things I used to do. I couldn't think of those uh, immoral things I used to have. Don't talk about 40 years. Tell me now, at this time, what's your spiritual stage? I couldn't hate anybody at that time. If I greeted them and they did not answer, I'll go to them. I'll say, good morning. I remember I was born again, 1964. And there was somebody who had been going together to a particular church. In that church, all we did was drum, dance, burn candle, burn incense. I was actually, my position there was to be a drummer. And then I got the light of the gospel. I repented, I was saved. And I stopped going to a place I didn't even hear any iota of the good news, the glad tidings of salvation. There's a man, or very close, we are going together. And uh, when I decided I will be going to this place now, I have salvation, forgiveness, freedom, and the fire of the Holy Ghost. The man made me an enemy. I was teaching in the same school. In the morning, when he's coming like that, I'll say, good morning. Look at me like I was coming from the latrine. He will not answer me. I'll say, good morning. He will look down on me. And then I'll go to him. I will touch him and say, I was greeting you. Now, good morning. Okay, good morning. The second day, yeah, it did like that. The third day, like that. The following week, like that. But I never stopped. Because I was purged, anger, animosity, hatred, enmity. Everything went out of my heart. And then he began to change. And I invited him, I say, what's about going with me to the gospel church tomorrow? He accepted. He went with me. He too became born again. Are you there? I said, he became born again. If when he was angry at me, I was angry at him, he'll never be born again. If when he held hatred, animosity in the heart, and I also did, I'll not be able to invite him. He'll not get saved. When you come to the Lord, He purges your heart. And other people, they do that because they're demanding something. And they think, if I'm angry at Him, if I show animosity to Him, He will bend and give me what I want. My friends, if love does not give you what you are looking for, anger will never give you what you're looking for in any case why do you want something and you want to get it by force and get it by anger he purges our hearts will purge every one of us in jesus name